estimation of total hardness of water by EDTA complexometric method. You know that hard water is one that does not give liable with so. How hardness is caused? Hardness is due to the presence of dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium, its chlorides, sulfates, and bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium are responsible for hardness of water. There are two types of hard water, temporary hard water and permanent hard water. Temporary hard water is due to the presence of bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium. This hardness can be removed merely by boiling. Permanent hard water is due to the presence of chlorides and sulfates of calcium and magnesium. This hardness cannot be removed by boiling. Our experiment is estimation of total hardness of water, means the sum of temporary and permanent hard water. To estimate total hardness of water by EDTA method, the first part is the preparation of standard solution. The EDTA is sparingly soluble in water. To prepare standard solution, the salt should be soluble in water. That's why using disodium salt of EDTA. First part is preparation of standard solution. So collect the salt and transfer into your standard flask. Then take the weight of empty bottle. The difference gives the weight of salt taken. Then add water. Then one test full of ammonia solution. The reason of adding ammonia solution is to increase the rate of dissolution of the salt. Watch the funnel. Watch the sides of the flask. And dissolve the salt. Hold the flask and dissolve. After dissolving the salt, we have to add water up to bulk pot. Then use burette to adjust the mark. But I will add water up to the mark. Put the stopper and mix well for uniform concentration. Then you have to take this standard solution into your burette. Before filling the burette, we have to rinse this burette with this standard solution. The second part is estimation of hardness, total hardness of water. So we put out 25 ml of given water sample into your conical flask. Before pipetting, we have to raise this pipette with this water sample. Only these two operators, burette and pipette, we have to rinse with the respective solution. So transfer into your conical flask. Then add 5 ml of buffer solution. The name of the buffer solution is ammonia ammonium chloride. So we have to add 5 ml of this buffer solution. The purpose of adding buffer solution is to maintain constant pH 10. So we know the meaning of buffer solution as a capacity to resist the change in pH and one more function of this buffer solution is it favors the complex formation. Add a pinch of aerochrome black tea indicator. This is to, to indicate end of the reaction. This aerochrome black tea indicator is also called as metal ion indicator since it reacts with metal ions and forms complex. This color is due to the formation of complex between aerochrome black tea and calcium and magnesium ions present in water sample. So calcium EBT, magnesium EBT complex gives wine red color. Now titrate this wine red colored solution against EDTA, standard EDTA solution taken in a burette. Till 
this violet color changes to clear blue color so first edta combines with the, the free calcium and magnesium ions and forms a stable complex then it reacts with the unstable calcium magnesium ebt complex forming stable calcium edta complex and the free indicator gives clear blue color see this so this blue color is due to indicator the free indicator gives this color at ph 10 now take out the burette from the stand and read the values and this value is used to calculate out the total hardness of water the total hardness of water is expressed in terms of ppm of calcium carbonate you know that hardness is due to chlorides sulfates and bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium but we are expressing in terms of ppm of calcium carbonate the reason is the calcium carbonate is insoluble and its molecular mass is 100 it is easy for for the conversion means we are converting 